Tutorial 3 Part 1 In this tutorial we will see how to manage a cultural center with a few rooms and activities, that is the preset model cultural center. Let's assume that in our cultural center we have four rooms. The entrance, a cafe, a cinema room and a bingo hall. Each of these rooms has an independent sound system, individual lighting controlled by DMX, plus in the entrance we have a large screen on which we broadcast information about activities. Our cultural center will have schedules that we want to be automatically managed by SCS following the computer clock. And this is the program we took as an example. At 5 p.m., opening. At 5.30 p.m., projection. At 6.15 p.m., bingo draw. At 9 p.m., closing. Alongside these main events we may have other informative or internal events. At 5 p.m., opening, start of background music and lights on. At 5.20 p.m., announcement of the screening in 10 minutes. Cinema room opening. At 5.29 p.m., announcement that the screening is about to begin. At 5.30 p.m., projection, announcement about mobile phones and movie start. At the end of the movie, end of screening message, exit from the hall. Shortly thereafter, closing of the cinema room, bingo draw announcement and bingo hall opening. At 6.15 p.m., bingo draw. At 9 p.m., closing. Announcement of imminent closing. Turn off sound and lights. Now, let's start with a list of cues. Q1. Opening. Q2. 10 minutes to projection. Q3. 1 minute to projection. Q4. Projection starts. Q5. End of projection. Q6. Opening. Bingo Hall. Q7. Bingo Draw. Q8. Closing. In this tutorial we will not indicate a main event for each of the queues as in the previous ones. This is because each of these will have many sub queues, each one with its importance. In fact, in each of the queues, we will have to control messages on the screen in the entrance, recorded announcements in all rooms or in a specific room only, lighting for each room, background music for each room, other events such as the start of the movie in the cinema room. Before starting to build our program we have to set the devices. First, you will need an output audio device with multiple audio outputs to control all the rooms. I will use my usual cheap external sound card. If you want to project the film from the same PC in which you have SCS please note that the audio output device for the videos is always the default one of the PC. Then we're going to set up the other audio outputs as follows. Cinema will be the first and we will leave it assigned to the PC default device. Entrance will be the second and we assign it to outputs 1 and 2 of the external sound card. Cafe will be the third and we assign it to outputs 3 and 4 of the external sound card. Bingo will be the fourth and we assign it to outputs 5 and 6 of the external sound card. So let's set the lighting device. Let's assume we have LED lights with one DMX channel to control them. We therefore set up four lights as cinema, entrance, cafe, and bingo. We then go on to set up a time profile. In this section we will give a name to our time profile that will manage the start of the queues according to the PC clock. If you want you can have more than one profile. For example, one for winter and one for summer. Here below we set the time for us CS to reset the program and make it ready for the next day. Now we can start building our program. Q1. Opening. When opening the center. Firstly we want to start a playlist for background music. We create a playlist and we add the audio files we want. We cut any silence from beginning and end of the tracks. We adjust the volume so that there are no big differences between the various tracks. And we put the playlist on repeat. 
At the time of opening this background music should only be played in the entrance and in the cafe. We now display a message on the screen placed in the entrance. On a memo queue we create a welcome message. The duration of this message will be set to continuous. When we display a new message it will replace this one. We could also choose to use an image for this message and have a better graphic result. However I thought that the memo cues are so much easier to edit in case of schedules changes, new messages or else. We will call this sub queue on screen message. Warning. In this tutorial we will use a PC with a single screen so both the messages and the movie will be visible on this same screen. To control two external screens, one dedicated to the messages and one dedicated to the screening of the film in the cinema, you will need to connect an external video card to the PC. Then you will assign screen 2 to the messages and screen 3 to the movie. Now let's switch on the lights. In order to make fast changes in the future, I prefer to insert the lights of all the rooms in this sub queue. We will call this sub queue lights control. For each different queue, we will move the faders to set the lights level in each room. At the time of opening, we only need to switch on the entrance and the cafe. Now let's see the activation times of each sub queues. In this case all three can start together. So you do not need to indicate anything in these fields. The start of the queue itself will be timed. We then choose timed activation and write the time we want in each time profile. For this tutorial we will only set the summer scheduled times. Q2. 10 minutes to projection. As we said, for every queue, we have to control several items. Messages on the screen. Registered announcements. Lights. Background music. Other events. In this situation the copy-paste procedure will be of great help. Let's start with the on-screen message. We copy it from the previous queue and paste it like new queue. We then change the message. In this queue we also need a voice announcement. But before playing the announcement, we need to lower the background music so that the announcement is audible. We could do this by lowering the volume of the background with a level change sub queue but I'd like to introduce a new type of queue, the callable queue. A callable queue is a queue that we will activate when needed. This queue will not start in chronological order like the others. This type of queue is particularly useful when you have an event that is repeated many times during the programs and always in the same way. In this case the requiring event is, lower the background music in all the rooms, whatever the current level of the audio. So let's start with creating a queue that performs this level change action. This will be our queue 10. We put it at the bottom of the list. The level to be changed is that of the playlist with background music. The type of change we want is, relative. We also choose that the change is the same for each device, or for each of our rooms. We apply a change of minus 20 decibels. 
Let's also put a time in which this change must take place. Finally, in the activation field we put, callable queue. Back to the queue 2, to recall the change of level just created, we choose a call queue type sub queue. On this list we see the callable queue just created. Done. Now that the background music has been lowered, let's play our announcement. After loading the file we choose in which room we want to play this announcement. It will be played in the entrance and in the cafe. After the announcement is played, the background music must return to the previous level. We will use the same procedure to create a callable queue that raises the volume of 20 decibels. And we insert a call queue sub queue immediately after the voice announcement. Done. So let's care about the lights. Let's copy the sub queue lights control and paste it. We turn up the lights in the cinema room. Finally we send the background music also in the cinema room. To do this we use a level change sub queue. Let's say 5 seconds as a fade time. We will call this sub queue background control and we will use it to create the other sub queues when needed. Let's check the start times now. The first sub queue starts immediately. The second as well. The announcement will play a few seconds after the background music has dropped. In this way we will have the attention of those present. At the end of the announcement we let a second pass before reactivating the background music. Then we turn up the lights in the cinema hall and at the same time the background will go up. Last we set the time for this queue to start. Q3. 1 minute to projection. We proceed in the same order. Message on the screen. We modify the text as we need it. So let's move on to the voice announcement and use the same procedure to lower first and raise after the musical background. First a call queue sub queue. Then the announcement. We need to hear this announcement in the entrance, the cafe and the cinema room. following is another call queue type sub queue. The activation times of the individual sub queues are similar to the previous. The first starts immediately. The second as well. The voice announcement, 3 seconds after the end of the previous one. The next sub queue, 1 second after the end of the previous one. This queue 3 will be timed to start at 5.29. Q4. Projection starts. On screen message. We show that the projection is in progress. The background in the cinema room can now drop to zero. We copy the sub Q background control.
Then we have the announcement to turn off the phones and we want to hear it only in the cinema room. Also the lights in the cinema room will be turned off. When all these operations have been completed, we can start the film. Since we will change films from time to time, we cannot set an exact start time for the next queue. So it is somehow necessary to indicate to the program that the film is finished. To do this we use an SFR queue which closes the queue for when the movie is over. That is, stop immediately, no fade out in this field and queue for as the queue on which to act. Reviewing the start times of all the sub queues we have, the first immediately. The background immediately. The announcement after the background. The lights after the announcement and the movie after the lights. The next sub queue, one second after the end of the previous one. That is, after the film is finished, last we set the time for this queue to start. Q5. End of projection. We want now to let people out of the cinema hall. As a message on the screen we will indicate that the projection is finished. Then we turn on the lights in the cinema room. We turn on the background music. All three sub cues can start immediately. The Q5 will start after the end of the movie, when the Q4 will close. Q6. Opening Bingo Hall. After some time we want to close the cinema room and open the bingo hall. First we create our usual on-screen message. We indicate that the bingo hall is open and the draw will begin at 6.15. Having also a recorded announcement for this we apply the same procedure to lower the background music. The announcement of the bingo draw will be heard in the entrance and in the cafe. Then we raise back up the background music to the normal level. After this we care about lights. Lights off in the cinema room and lights on in the bingo hall. We only open at 50% to get a nice low brightness before the draw begins. We also control the background music by turning it off in the cinema room and raising it up in the bingo hall. These are the start times. The first and second immediately. The announcement after three seconds. Reactivation of the background after one second. Lights and change level of the background at the same time after the previous one. The Q6 will start after three minutes when the Q5 is over. That is, we will give people three minutes to exit the cinema room. Q7. Bingo draw. Same procedure. On screen message. Bingo draw starts. We do not want an audio message for this event. 
we raise the lights to 100% in the bingo hall. We lower the background music in the bingo hall so that the picked up numbers of the drawn are audible. All three sub cues start immediately with a cue 7, which is timed at 6.15. Q8. Closing. First we stop the playlist and the background music will disappear from all rooms. We do it with an SFR cue. Following is the announcement of the imminent closing time and that should be heard in every room. Then we play a countdown video on the screen with a music that could be the Cultural Center song. When this video ends, all the lights will be turned off. The first starts immediately. The second after the end of the previous one. The next sub cue after the end of the previous one and at the same time the countdown. All the lights will be turned off when this video ends. The start of the cue itself will be timed. done.